something that makes me feel good about my job, particularly, is the impact that we have on everyday guests. Never do I go home and not wonder if I've done a good job because it resonates anytime somebody gets out of the water. When somebody says, that's the greatest thing I've ever done in my entire life, you honestly tend to get used to it. Um, but then taking a step back, it's, I do that every single day, and it's, it's a beautiful feeling. Diving is total freedom. When you drop into the water, everything is available, and nothing bothers you. I've been at the aquarium for seven years now, and I like to joke around and say that, you know, I stopped working seven years ago. Our dive safety programs is separated into two different teams. We, we have our dive immersion program, um, which is where the guests can come in and swim or dive with the whale sharks. Uh, we also have our maintenance team, which is downstairs, and they are responsible for all the dive maintenance uh, at the aquarium. We do everything in-house, and so we can service our regulators, all of our gear, we can inspect tanks, we fill our air here, and so we're very uh, a very self-sufficient dive team. My team is a very eclectic group. Uh, we all have a passion for the ocean. We're all very outgoing and we love to share. Um, they're funny, they're charming, uh, and under all of that is a very safety-related edge. Um, all divers are safety-minded. And so you'll see them goofing off and all that, all the while while their heads and eyes are scanning, making sure all the guests are safe, all the guests are happy. It's just who they are. I was here when we started the dive program in 2008. Um, when we first started the dive program, before we brought anyone else in, we brought in Wounded Warriors. And that set the stage for the Veterans Immersion Program and for the way we handled all of our guests from then on. On our best days, we have the opportunity to bring active and inactive military through our program. What it does for us, mentally and physically, Imagine what it could do for somebody with PTSD, or TBIs, or a, a, a more physical injury. The power of salt water, the power of being subsurface in any body of water, and the power of these beautiful animals is a game changer. I love giving opportunity to people that normally they wouldn't have. Their personal growth, their development, each person's different, but when you see something change, a, a, a behavior change, something like that, from one of our veteran participants or specifically the CHOA guys, all those little kids, and they go from terrified to smiling. That, that really does. It just changes your outlook on life and makes you feel, feel better about what we do here. I, I hope that we can relate a bigger message that, yeah, it's about having a good time and it's about enjoying yourself, but the bigger thing is that, that message, that message of conservation. We want to tell them what kind of research we do in these animals. We go to the Galapagos once or twice a year, St. Helena, the Philippines. We do coral trips down to, uh, to the Keys. So I think it's important to be able to let people know what we do behind the scenes. I hope that that one day we'll, we'll receive appreciation for that message that we try to deliver every single day. If I get one person a year that says, I'm going to do this for a living, I'll count that as a win.